today we're going to be looking at the CNN uh, hit piece on Aaron Rodgers and uh, why I this is basically this video is going to be a self-described antithesis on why I personally am the closest thing to hating CNN okay I don't hate anything or anybody but holy crap CNN makes me yeah they just they just make me like regret saying those words sometimes but anyways if you like if you like the video uh hit the like button comment uh subscribe turn the bell notifications on if you'd like this but anyway let's give the video peace remember by the way aaron Rodgers, if for those who don't are in america or doesn't know about this is notably against fun is like notably has been like against like the vaccine mandates the uh because he gets like big, like he's against a lot of their funding sources, so and uh, he holds a lot of uh, like common interests with RFK, which is what this is about, which is why this hit piece is coming out. So just just remember, these people are funded by J.P. Morgan and Bank of America, the most the the most evil banks in the world that made tens of millions of people homeless, and they did it without a care. So just remember that. Presidential candidate Robert F. Kennedy Jr. seems to be narrowing his search for a running mate. One of his prospects for vice president, New York Jets quarterback Aaron Rodgers. Now, CNN is learning tonight that in private conversations, Rodgers has shared conspiracy theories, falsely claiming the 2012 Sandy Hook shooting was not real. I swear to God, she looks like if she looks to God, this woman, look, this woman is so corrupt, so mentally, braindeadly corrupted in her own brain that she looks like Letitia James. I swear to God, she's like, like she looks like Letitia Letitia James in in drag, which, by the way, is notably one of the worst mayors and one of the worst, uh, high, high, uh, most high ridden crime cities. And, sh and somehow she looks like an inbred version of that. Give me a break. And then, by the way, notice how she said, by the way, shared privately with her. Right? Meaning, off the record. Meaning, this is a violation of the codes and ethics of journalism. This bitch did a full foosy, okay? Did a full self swatted herself. Like like she just self swatted her career. But but instead of being arrested for having the ego the size of Texas and screaming at SWAT teams, she just gets gunned down. Like like I hopefully that she just loses her job. Like I I swear the the, the, the ego of these people where it's like, and by the way, she's trying to moralize someone talking about how shocked that is to her. Lady, your network is funded by JP Morgan and Bank of America, some of the biggest banks in the world that made tens of millions of people homeless. And you're, and you being a mouthpiece for that, right? You knowingly spitting that bank-filled propaganda, right? And I mean propaganda in a dirty word sense. Like, this just fake news. This fucking, like, evil company. The Scrooge McDuck of banks, okay? Like, the pettiest of petty of banks, right? That fucked the entire economy. And there, they are, them accepting, basically, doing bank filled propaganda, and they're telling you, the people, you ready? Ready? Here's a go. Do better! <laughs> like, oh my god. This is what fucking frustrates me about CNN. It's not even, it's not even that they're lying, it's that they're lying in defense of fucking you and your life, and that's somehow supposed to be news. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. Like, you're, like, 
You're not a journalist. You're the star of gossip, girl. Okay, let's get, the, let's keep it, let's keep it a buck here. Okay, uh, let's spit straight facts. You like, you, you look like, you look like a fuck Latisa James. In fact, you look like you look like someone with how shiny that skin is. You literally look like someone is playing blackface of the of Latisha James. Like you like. You look like a white guy that paints his face black, or, you know, or like a brown woman with makeup and all that, to make himself look like a, to make himself look like Latissa James. That, like, and that person is, supposedly has a spotted journalism. No, get the fuck out of here. When CNN's Pamela Brown was covering the Kentucky Derby, she met Aaron Rodgers. And Brown says in conversations with him, Rodgers attacked the news media claiming important stories were being covered up. He then brought up the Sandy Hook shooting and said the media was intentionally ignoring that the shooting was, he claimed, an inside job by the government. Now, when Brown asked for evidence, he shared conspiracy theories that had been disproven. Rogers falsely claimed to Brown that there were men in black in the woods by the school and asked if she thought that was odd. CNN has also spoken to another source who would like to remain anonymous in order to avoid harassment. They had a similar encounter with Aaron Rodgers. This person said Rodgers claimed that, quote, Sandy Hook never happened. All those children never existed. They were all actors. Yeah, notice how the source wants to stay anonymous. But while you can sit there and say this man said something off the record, by the way, okay, in private... At the 2013 Kentucky Derby, in a party room, and again, another witness that's anonymous. So, basically, you're the only person that's coming out saying this. Like, the, the, we, we, I, could, I could literally put, you're a pedophile. I heard you're a pedophile. But that source is anonymous because... You know, they don't want to get harassment. Yeah, no shit. Like, uh, you're telling a lie, okay? You're lying to people, okay? Like, that would be like if... That would be like if you ready, you ready, ready? Someone accused you of putting on white face, okay? And you... Being like, no, I didn't, and like, yes, you did, and, and I saw you in this anonymous source, and there's nothing ever showing it. In fact, imagine if you said that if if someone said about you that you fuck little children outside of the local elementary school, and we heard from a source who wants to stay anonymous for obvious for her for reasons of harassment. Do you think that's a good idea? No, right? Because you know this is good. You know this is dirty. You know you're playing in the pig pen. And you know what? I'm willing to get in. I'm willing to be that pig. Come at me, bitches. Come on. I can take it. Come on, slap me in the face one more time. I, I really hope this channel blows up. Because we are going to absolutely piss these cum dumps off, okay? These corporate cum dumps we're gonna piss them off but anyways yeah so in essence it's uh one person heard something that's off the record with no audio or anything to, to back it up and that's journalism even though you have you, you are obviously just a, again the SJW cock shit okay you, you like where all you can do is criticize Trump for being bombastic. How about criticize him for literally hiring a climate a climate denier as a climate czar? Okay, I'm sorry, it's funny, but still, horrible fucking idea, right? I would argue that's ass backwards. Okay, the second thing would be why not bring up the fact that a majority of the metrics in the U.S. economy were very much the same outside of gas prices. 
from the second Ob second year of Obama, and therefore how much did he really contribute? The third thing you could bring up is how the ta the the uh, the uh, cut taxes and jobs act, or something like that, where he lowered the corporate tax rate. But you know, you know what also happens? You ready? You ready for this? It didn't strengthen any laws on the books. So he just gave a corporate corporations a ten percent a nine. I think it was like a 9 or 10% tax cut. You could say that. You could point that out. You could point out the fact that we knew that Corona was a thing in December of 2019 and did absolutely nothing about it for four months. We didn't lock down, didn't shut down the airports. And again, even if you want to go back to time where it was a scary disease, okay? And the whole world was panicked. Why didn't we just shut down the airports? Like, I am being so serious. Why don't we just shut down the airports? Like, yeah. You, you, we heard there was a disease in China. You're not flying to the U.S. We are shutting down all international travel. Until this gets figured out. We could have done that. We're all the way across the pond. Shit. But we didn't, you know. So, again, that's something we could do, too. Before the virus actually hit the U.S. But, you know, just saying. You know, there's other ways you could criticize Trump, but... Yeah, but that's all, man. It basically goes into just to hit pace and just talking shit about Aaron Rodgers and all that for no fucking reason. With no base to shit. Because that's what they are. They're corporate pundits. They're liars. And they absolutely want to fuck you with a big middle finger and a big fist up your anus. Anyways, that's it. And again, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, hit the bell notification. Because holy fuck that these corporate these corporate gobl goblins and ghoulies fucking piss me off. Anyways, peace.